How does Jennifer Lopez bring the best out of Ben Affleck? It's said that he went through a lot of ups and downs in his life, and so did she. Even their relationship went through the same, from Benifer 1.0 to Benifer 2.0. It seems like these two are obsessed with each other. Some may even believe that J-Lo is even more obsessed with her man. Stay tuned to know why she's so obsessed with Affleck. Playing with the ex and the longtime ex. Jennifer Lopez's performance of Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline at the Global Citizen concert on May 2nd fulfilled a dual purpose. Not only was the song a dig at her recent ex, former Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez, but it was also the unofficial anthem of the Boston Red Sox. It was also a playful nod towards her longtime ex, Ben Affleck, who arrived at the event shortly after her. It was unquestionably for Ben. It also worked to irritate A-Rod, a person close to Affleck told the Washington Post. Close friends were taken aback when Affleck and Lopez called Benifer at the height of their first romance, which lasted from 2002 to 2004, were cited vacationing together in Montana days later. We just assumed they were buddies. A source close to Affleck stated, even Ben's closest friends were taken aback. She was always enamored with Ben, a person close to both Affleck and Lopez told the New York Post. They had always been in love. Affleck and Lopez were a tabloid marriage made in heaven in 2002. She was the glam puss of New York. He was a quiet Bostonian who enjoyed baseball, beer, and poker. Affleck and Lopez met on the set of Gigli, in which Affleck played a hitman and Lopez played an assassin assigned to keep him in line. The film would end up being a flop, but the stars connected, and off-screen, they grew even greater. Despite their Hollywood differences, they discovered common ground in their origins. Lopez grew up in the Bronx's Castle Hill neighborhood, and Affleck grew up in Cambridge, Massachusetts. J-Lo vs. Jenny from the Block Lopez's then-publicist, Rob Shooter, told The Post, I recall Ben taking her to a friend's party. It was beer and red wine in solo cups, says the narrator. She was enjoying herself in a foldable chair. Being J-Lo is difficult, and Ben was able to make it easier. The only time you didn't feel like you were with J-Lo was when Ben was there. Shooter remarked of her meticulously manufactured image. When Lopez met Affleck, she was still married to her second husband, dancer Chris Judd. Months later, they separated, and Affleck and Lopez were seen in public. It was a time when tabloid magazines such as Us Weekly and Star were at their most popular, and the paparazzi were at their most hysterical. The pair of the moment was Benifer. According to Shudder, author of The Four Word Answer, their connection was powered by electricity. It was the most thrilling thing I'd ever seen. Their relationship reached its pinnacle in the summer of 2002, when Lopez filmed the music video for Jenny from the Block, in which the two were seen kissing in a Bentley and laughing at magazine coverage of their romance. While cruising on a catamaran, Affleck appeared to be the quintessential doting boyfriend, following J-Lo out of her limo, pumping gas, and having physical contact. Flashing the perfect boyfriend cards he also knew how to give her the kind of attention she craved in real life. For J-Lo's performance on Today, Affleck turned up uninvited. He also surprised her with roses on the red carpet. She returned the favor by dedicating a song to him, Dear Ben, on her This Is Me Then album. Lopez's family accepted Affleck into their fold. Ben taught Guadalupe, Lopez's mother, how to gamble. Shadow recalled of Affleck, who was once barred from a Las Vegas casino for card counting. She also won a large quantity of money in Atlantic City. In November 2002, Benifer proposed to her boyfriend with a six-carat pink diamond. They partnered up for the film Jersey Girl, but the premiere of Gigli in August 2002 exposed flaws in their relationship as the duo was forced to promote a stink bomb. They almost looked like they had guns to their head. A photographer who captured the two at the premiere of Gigli claimed, Ben's ego is bigger than hers, a person close to the couple stated. To him, Gigli flopping was a larger thing, and he was envious of her celebrity. When photographers saw Ben and Jen together, they would request that Jennifer stand alone. Ben would take a step out of the shot, but he would present it. J-Lo alone, J-Lo alone, the paparazzi would exclaim, but they never requested that Ben be left alone. Benifer 1.0 Lopez offered her fiancé the business during a game at LA's Bicycle Club, according to Houston Curtis, a professional gambler who has also played poker with Affleck. Curtis told The Post Ben was playing in a game with poker pro Annie Duke when an announcement came over the PA system. Ben, you have a call from Jennifer, it stated. Jennifer Aniston has called Ben Affleck. 
He looked irritated, shrugged, and walked over to the phone. Affleck was also in a game at a Beverly Hills residence when a player lost a hand to a pair of queens, according to Curtis. Try living with a queen, grumbled Affleck. They split up because he cheated on her, and at the time, he had the possibility to be a very huge star. A person close to both Ben and Jennifer told the Washington Post. What he was doing with her was out of character for him. All these folks were whispering in his ear. If I had a regret, it was doing the music video, Affleck stated in 2008. I think he was the happiest he's ever been with her, a person familiar with both of them stated. In September 2003, the pair called off their wedding and dissolved their relationship officially in January 2004. Jersey Girl bombed at the box office in March. Lopez married singer Mark Anthony in June. Lopez would go on to divorce Anthony, date Casper Smart, a 17-year younger actor, and then date Rodriguez from 2017 to March of this year. From 2005 to 2018, Affleck was married to Jennifer Garner, and he dated Saturday Night Live producer Lindy Shookus and actress Ana de Armas. Lopez and Affleck have rekindled their friendship throughout the years, according to a source close to the situation. Affleck was given a second shot with her after Rodriguez became exhausted from the demands of dating J-Lo, the image, not the lady. According to the insider, A-Rod never understood what Jennifer needed to do to maintain her public image. He wanted a peaceful existence and couldn't keep up with her drive to be in the spotlight in front of the public all of the time. Rodriguez's representative refuted this. Lopez's representative did not answer to her request for comment. Rodriguez is not longing for Lopez, despite claims to the contrary, according to individuals who spoke to the Post. Alex is happy where he is and is working on the Timberwolves deal, one source said. According to TMZ, as their relationship ended, Affleck sent Lopez a note when she was filming Shotgun Wedding, telling her how beautiful she looked. According to a source close to Benifer, the second time around could be the charm. Jennifer doesn't want to be on the field or hang out with the younger boys, an insider revealed. She doesn't want to go on Raya because she doesn't want to meet new people. They both have fond memories of being together. Shooter believes that their time apart will be beneficial to them. Jennifer does not drink or party. She works out every day, Shooter remarked, referring to Affleck's well-publicized trips to rehab. She brings discipline to Ben's life. He brings normality to hers. Ben lives a very normal life. Shooter continued, A lot of us want a second chance with the one that slipped away. I wouldn't be surprised if they get engaged again. She never returned the ring, as far as I know. How J-Lo Brings Out the Best in Ben Affleck has been on his best behavior since Lopez threatened to fire him if he didn't change, according to an unidentified insider. The premise of this relationship is that Ben, not Jennifer, will be given a second chance, and Ben better not blow it. So far, he's been on his best behavior. He no longer thinks, and he's in the finest shape he's been in years, the alleged insider claims. Ben and Jen have both been busy working. Ben is just happy with life right now, and it's been a while since his friends have seen him in such positive spirits. Jen helps bring out his best self, another source tells ET. His career is going well, and he has a lot of work lined up for him. He's incredibly pleased with the last duel and grateful that he and Matt were able to work on it together. Jen is incredibly encouraging, often praising him and complimenting him on his abilities. He's also been working out and is in terrific shape, the person continues. He's always been amusing, creative, smart, and kind, but lately he's been smiling and cheerful all the time. You can see he's really happy and grateful for how well things are going right now. It took him ups and downs to get to this level, the source says, of the amazing relationship. He adores Jennifer and claims that she inspires him to be a better person and work harder. He wants to look after her even if she doesn't require it. That's just the kind of person he is. So, now, who do you think is more obsessed with the other? Tell us your thoughts.